I cannot believe that I just wrote a text prompt and watched it turn into an entire UI design and flow right before my eyes. A website for podcasters to show their latest episodes. It really is like magic. So yesterday, Wizard just released their alpha AI feature, which is their text to AI auto designer. I now have access and I am both exhilarated and terrified. I cannot wait to share this with you all. Okay, so here we are inside of the auto designer and it's a really simple interface and you can choose between a mobile tablet or web and then you just type in your prompt the same way you would in chat GPT for example and then you can add some um, descriptive keywords you can describe the style so you know if you're a designer you can say that you know you want everything to be rounded corners with soft shadows lots of white space things like that and then you can add some of these tags here so we can just try an example that they have as well so let's do that and see what it generates so i'm going to hit try example and then it says uh, food delivery app for developers who hate to leave the house. That sounds pretty accurate to me. And then this, the style that it described is cyber and techie. So let's click generate my project and see what happens. Here are our designs. And so if you've never been inside of Wizard before, it's very similar to other UI design apps that you might be familiar with like Figma. It's got some controls over here for your design parameters and shapes and basic elements. And then all of these different components that were also generated based on this concept. And so there are three screens here, the home, the search, and the order status. And um, as you can see, they're not that bad for being generated by AI. So if we zoom in a little bit here, um, you'll see that we've got the images, some tags and uh, shopping cart icons, price placeholders, you know, the text, everything. We've got a nice menu down here. And then there's a search area. So you can search by tags or price range. And there's even the order status flow. So you can keep up with when your order will arrive to you. It's such a great starting point, better than looking at the blank canvas when you're starting. So you can definitely see a lot of room for improvement here. Um, but really, I think that is the value of AI at this current stage of its abilities. It really is to help you, to inspire you, to assist you. And uh, I think it's only gonna make our jobs a bit easier. So the best part about this is that it's all editable. So I can click into here, I can change this text. I can call this pizza castle. I can change these images and over here, I can come over to this area and Unsplash is built right in so you can select another image. Let's type in pizza and then let's get that one. Ooh, classy. So now we can go ahead and add some existing components to these screens. So I'm just gonna extend this down. I'm gonna take my whole menu component here. I'm gonna move this down. And let's say that I just want to look over here at some of these other options. Maybe I'll add this. All of these pre-designed things are really, really well done. It gets even cooler. Let's say that you wanted to add an additional screen to this, because obviously this isn't like a complete flow. And let's say that you wanted to have a checkout flow, for example. Well, there are a couple of different ways that you can add these screens. Right now, we're gonna jump over to Dribble, for example. Maybe Mobin, which is another great place to find inspiration for these things. And I'm gonna search for a food delivery app like Uber Eats. I love Mobin because it gives you real design patterns and real apps and flows that you can look at. So it's, uh, it's better than Dribble in that regard. Okay, so back in Wizard, we're gonna click on Scan Screenshot and we're gonna upload that. And what it did is it just brought that image in here and it turned all of the elements into editable elements. This is absolute magic to me. I can take this and I can change this to match the dark background. So now you're combining inspiration from the web and other apps and other flows, and then you're adding it to what the AI generated and you're just expanding now. Another thing that's cool is that right out of the box, when Auto Designer generates these screens, it also generates the flows for them and connects them in a prototype. So you can click preview right after Auto Designer does its thing and you can start clicking around and using it. I can click on this, click on magic again, and then I can go to wireframe mode. I'm gonna turn wireframes on 
and it's going to convert all of these screens to wireframes for me. So now I can use a more low fidelity approach to adjusting these. I can move some things around here, sketch things out more roughly. So let's turn wireframe mode off. Now there are a couple of different ways that you can change these themes. One is from scratch and one of the most fun ones is from an image. Everything's kind of this red orange right now. Well, we can come back over to these screens again, click on magic and then we can go to smart themes. And I'm just going to upload an image that I like the colors of. It could be uh, an app design that you're inspired by again, that you've seen on dribble or somewhere else. And like absolute magic, it has applied the colors and styles from that screenshot to this generated design. I honestly can't believe how easy this is and how much flexibility you have. It's gonna take a great design eye and understanding color theory and hierarchy and typography and all of that really important stuff to get these to look extra professional, but it's just incredible that you can start from so much instead of starting from nothing. And you can also do this from a URL and then in moments, we're pink, wild, there's more. Now we can change some of the typography and we can just tweak this from scratch and make the primary color like this. And then I can go ahead and round, make the corner sharp and not round. I can change it to a serif font. I can add a border to things. And look at that, a totally different style. Let's try and regenerate something now. So down here, you'll see a little tool tip that says you can generate another prompt or you can regenerate. So let's regenerate this. Look at that. What I've noticed is that it starts to get a little better every time you use it. Sometimes it generates more screens for you. And I think this is the best one um, we've seen so far. And it's just an incredible amount of fun to play with. Another thing that's really helpful is the text assistant. So if we click on this right here and then we click on the little button that pops up with the little cycle icon, click text assistant, it's going to regenerate new copy and content for us. And then we have the option of uh, regenerating it again or replacing it. And this came up with trendy Italian eateries. So let's replace that. So let's see what else it can create. I am going to start a new project and then I'm gonna click on that generate with auto designer button. And let's do something for the web this time. How about a website for podcasters to show their latest episodes using the material design system? So what is super interesting is that right now you can even reference existing design systems and it will create those components in those styles. And um, from what I heard, you're gonna be able to connect up your own design systems very soon. So this is gonna be a complete game changer for professional UI designers. Okay, so here we have a web layout. And so you can start listening, you can log in, create a profile, see your dashboard with all of your selections. This is the you know UI SaaS app for a podcaster that's creating episodes and all of that stuff. So you can add a new podcast, it shows you your storage left. It's really thought through a lot of specifics that really impress me. It sort of just reads my mind based on a very simple plain English text prompt. And speaking of plain English, English is not the only way that you can generate. I'm gonna create another one. Create a meditation site in Spanish. So here's uh, what they're calling Mindful Menti. I love how it names it for you as well. And it generated the wireframes for this one. So let's go over to that magic tab. Let's go to wireframe mode and let's turn off wireframe mode so we can actually see the designs. So we've got a tablet app here. Yeah, it does other languages. It's really, really incredible. So a couple of things to note, it's best to be really as descriptive as possible when you're generating your prompts, just like with chat GPT, you wanna feed it more information, maybe tell it, the color palette, the style, the font, whether you want sans serif typefaces or serif typefaces, all of that kind of stuff. The more detail, the better. 
Also, keep in mind that it might not work perfectly the first time. And like I mentioned, I notice it gets better every time. So try regenerating the screens if you don't like them. You'll also need a pro plan and we are partners with Wizard. So if you're a student of our course, you get a huge discount to Wizard's pro plan as part of your student perks. So I'm gonna show you one more really cool thing. And this one's been around on Wizard for a little while, but if you haven't seen it yet, it's very handy. You can draw out a hand sketch on a piece of paper, and then you can bring it into UWizard and have Magic Tool scan it. So we're going to scan wireframe to sketch, and I'm gonna select this one right here, click on import, and it's going to process that screenshot. And just like that, it's created an approximation of that wireframe. And now you can go in and use these other AI tools. 